from New York, Mr. Dennis Newman. All right. I know what a lot of you thinking right now. You're looking at me, and I look familiar. Uh, it's possible you might know me. I've been in entertainment for a while. Uh, one of the things I did, I was in movies. No, it was not The Adams Family. <laughs> and it was not Despicable Me. <laughs> As a matter of fact, there was a few independent films you probably never saw, so it might not be that. Uh, but it's a, you know, I'm, I'm going a little bearded now. I'm, I'm practicing my next role. It's a very touching role. I'm going for, to be Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> Yes, uh, it's a, I'm getting very hands on it. I'm doing all the auditions on the show. So if any ladies would like to try out for it, come see me after the show. Uh, I was also the lead singer of a cover band, which it was actually in a lot of ways much easier than doing comedy because, you know, in a cover band, you're doing a lot of famous songs everyone knows, right? So they help, they're singing along. So if you forget what's going on, you go to the audience, they're there for you. It doesn't work like that in comedy. I can't say so long. You guys walked into a bar and, uh, Yes. <laughs> you're kind of stuck, but it's fun. Comedy's fun. Interesting. Uh, I've been having a good time with it. After one show, I thought I was recognized. I went to a bar. This girl came running up to me going, oh my God, can I take your picture? I was like, yeah, all right. Takes a picture. I'm like, you know who I am? She goes, no, I just liked your shirt. <laughs> it was a Game of Thrones shirt. She was a big fan. And what's more disappointing, I looked over her shoulder. My face wasn't even in the picture, it was really just my shoulder. <laughs> <sighs> one day, one day it'll be my face. Uh, what else, I, w I was a DJ. I, I, was, I was great, man, I, I do the best parties. One time we had strippers and ice luge, kegs of beer, everybody's drunk, dancing, having a good time. Sounds like a good time, Woo! right? Yeah. Well, one woman, woman didn't think so, she actually got me fired. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it wasn't appropriate for a son's bar mitzvah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Uh, yeah, entertainment, man. It's crazy with all this stuff going on, right? Everybody's getting in trouble. Mm -hmm. Which I'm actually happy about because it moves me up to the ladder. So. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll be in a movie that you guys will actually recognize me in. For real. Uh, I, I don't get that. Like, you guys know what happened with Louis C.K., right? Yeah. You know what's crazy about that story? He had five women in the hotel room and he still had to jerk off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I figure once you reach that level, oh. kind of get some help with it. But it's all right. <laughs> Uh, what else is going on? I see, I see there's a lot of millennials out here, right? You guys just don't know anything. You have fidget spinners and all your stupid toys. We had real toys. We had a spring. Yeah. It was called the slinky, but we could do this. Yeah. Take your fidget spinner and shove it. We also had pet rocks. Anyone know what that is? It was a rock with googly eyes pasted on it that came in a box with holes because apparently rocks do need to breathe. <laughs> you guys know nothing. What's with all this auto tune? Does anyone even sing anymore? No. No. Nah, what happened to good bands like Millie Vanilli? Yeah! That's right. A few people know who they are, but they're not singing at all. <laughs> they were professional lip syncers. And all these sluts now like Ariana Grande, <laughs> Miley Cyrus. What happened to good wholesome girls like Samantha Fox and Madonna? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You guys know nothing. But also, how many millennials are out there? How many? A lot, right? You guys put up with a lot of shit from us, right? And what, what's the, one of the main things you hear? You guys don't achieve anything. You get participation trophies for everything. Who's giving them to you? My generation. So, yeah, next time they give you a hard time, just tell them to fuck off. Uh, so it, it's nice to see everybody survive the, the bomb NATO apocalypse thing that we just had recently, right? You all heard about that? We're from the Northeast, from the, well, most of us. I know you're from the lake. <laughs> Aren't we used to snow by now? Isn't it just a snowstorm? It's winter? I, I don't get it. I, I don't get why people get so worried about it. And then, you know, our great governor holds a press conference, has all these people around him, other politicians, security, media, and everything. And you know what the main purpose of his... His uh, speech was, don't drive. As he's bragging about driving around the city and how dangerous it is, I hope he was behind a plow at least, he tells you not to drive. And then he says, oh, now I'm going to go to Nassau and tell everybody in Nassau not to drive, so everybody's going to come with me. I, I, I mean, I don't get what's going on anymore. I, even sex, I, I don't understand it. it. Do you know there's 58 possible genders on Facebook right now? Whoa. I didn't go to the Cheesecake Factory because there's too many choices. 
I have the same reaction. Someone goes, well, what would it be? I'm like, I don't know. Let's have a few drinks and figure it out. We'll get there. <laughs> and, and, and sex. We used to, you know, it was easy. There was four choices. You, you were gay, you liked the same sex. Straight, you liked the opposite sex. Bisexual, you liked either sex. Or you were asexual, which means you didn't like sex at all. They were also known as married women. <laughs> Uh, apparently there's some married people in here. And they think they're still here but that's about my time. But before I go, I just want to let you know, do not worry. I will be hanging out after. If anyone would like to take pictures of my shirt, please feel free. Yes. That is Neil McGuire. Let him hear it. That is Neil McGuire. All right, guys. That's time to come.